Last week served as a reminder that currently interest rates continue to dominate discussions about real estate investments trusts and their performance. Geopolitical tensions resulted in a flight to safety, causing a 16 basis point decrease in long-term yields for the week. As a result of this movement in the market's search for safety, the REIT sector outperformed both the S&P 500 and the Russell 2000, representing large cap and small cap companies, respectively, for the overall market. Best performing subsectors in the terms of one-week price returns were healthcare at 3.9%, malls at 2.5%, single-family rentals 2.1%, strip centers 2 office 1.8%, and apartments 1.3%, as well as freestanding at 1% follow closely behind. I believe the third quarter 23 earnings season will bring more clarity to 2024 estimates. With the REIT sector underperforming the broader markets year to date, either REITs are well positioned for a relief rally or estimates will face more pressure. <clears throat> Our recent conversations suggest that there is a significant amount of capital closely monitoring the undervalued names in the REIT sector, but they are waiting for more clarity or catalysts. Any relief rally associated with the third quarter earnings could attract more funds into the sector from the sidelines, and I think that's what we're all hoping for. However, year-to-date returns imply that a quick turnaround is not necessarily indicative of confidence. The only two sectors with positive returns were single-family rentals at 14% and healthcare at 4.5%. All other sectors experienced negative returns, with hotels down 0.2%, apartments down 0.6%, Industrial down 1%, malls down 4.1%, strip centers down 4.8%, freestanding down 16.4%, office down 21%. The FTSE non-REIT equity REIT saw a loss of 2.4%. In conclusion, the spread between the REIT average implied cap rate and the 10-year Treasury yield has widened in 2020, but now it's coming back into a more normal range, and I think that bodes well for the future. Now, if you require the assistance of a commercial real estate broker, please feel free to reach out to me, 281-222-0433.